hello everyone we're going to be looking at a security element known as firewall so the big question is what is a firewall a firewall can be a software or a hardware component that is designed to protect a network from one another so basically they are mainly used for controlling the traffic entering and leaving a particular network in many cases they are kept in areas between low and high trust like private networks and public networks for internet or it could also be kept between different networks belonging to the same or different organization so the basic idea behind the firewall is that it manages the traffic using what is known as filters now these filters are basically set of rules which are defined in the order of priority this is how it works if the packet matched the criteria of the rule then actions of the rule are being applied and if they are not matched then next no action is taken and next set of rules are being checked so there are three most common outcome of every firewall action it either allows deny or logs the security feature of what has been activated and out of which most of them in many cases as i have seen normally allows so let's so let's look at the next slide so that you can understand pictorially uh, what I've been trying to say. So basically, it's a choke point of control and monitoring and only authorized traffic that is allowed. So from the diagram, you can see a company that has mail servers and application servers behind a router, which in turn is being protected by a firewall before it gets to the internet. So next, we are going to be looking at the different rule sets on how to design the different security um, checks so there are two types of rule sets um, the first is you block everything then opens up holes that allows the particular traffic uh, to go through so and usually this is the strongest security with the most inconvenience now why is it most inconvenience because you are blocking everything and you have to know exactly what you want to allow before you allow them to either go through or being dropped now the next is you block nothing then close holes now basically this is not advisable because even though it might have the least inconvenience it has a minimal security because what it means is you are not blocking anything how sure are you you will remember to close all you need to close or to drop all the packets you need to drop so usually the first whereby you block everything then opens up or allow a particular traffic is what most organization will go for so classification of firewalls firewalls are characterized by the protocol level it controls and we have basic four classes of firewalls the packet filters circuit level application level gateways dynamic packet filter also known as stateful filters so for firewall packet filters how does it work what it does is that it utilizes the simplest component of network and transport layers of the osi level remember on, on the osi model you have the network which is layer 3 and you have the transport which is layer 4 so what it does is it uses the source and destination ip address in combination with the tcp udp source and destination ports to allow so uh, i have an example here um, the first line stays is star asterisk means everything block everything from our host all the ports towards a host known as the bad guys and on all their ports reason because we don't trust these people now the second line say allow our gateway on port 25 and everything from the other network host on any of their ports for an smtp port connection establishment so this is very basic it utilizes network and transport layers of the osi model and then it classifies its packet based on those inputs circuit level firewall this type of firewall has two tcp connection one between itself and a tcp user on an inner host and one between itself and a tcp user on outside host so this is very basic you see it does not permit an end-to-end -end tcp connection rather it sets up two tcp connection which is one on the outside host and the other uh, on the inner host so what it does is it relays the TCP connection once connection is established, but it does not inspect the packet itself because it works on the concept of bursting host. 
and proxy server. So what it does is that it works based on the two TCP connection that has been established. Application level gateway, or sometimes known as proxy. This also works on the concept of bursting host and proxy. Now, how does it work? Basically, if the, pro if the proxy determines that the connection is allowed, it opens up a second connection to the server from itself on behalf of the original host. It means that the data portion of each packet is being stripped off, examined, rebuilt, and sent again on a second connection. Now, on this thorough examination and handling of packet means that proxy firewalls are very secured and generally slow. Now, reason why it is slow is because proxies are involved and proxies are also limited because they must understand the application layer. And as new protocols are being developed every day, new proxies are also being written and implemented to handle them. So you might be wondering, what is a bastion? A bastion host is a node in a company that, are, that is allowed to be addressed directly from the public network. And it is designed to protect the rest of the network. So that's more like um, demand standing in for everybody. It allows every connectivity through him. So most of the security and most of the shielding are done on the uh, baston host itself. So um, the last one, which is the uh, stateful packet filters. This is actually very interesting because this maintains a track of associated sessions and packets. Now, if you look at the diagram that is depicted, you see that there is a client uh, with IP 192.168.51.50 trying to establish a connection to a server whose IP is 172.16.3.4. Now, there are particular information that are being filtered. If you see, uh, it's making this request with some UDP information. It has a source port of 3264, a source address of 192.168.51.50 and it has a destination port of 15.25 with a destination address of 172.16.3.4. Now, if the request matches with the content information on the server, it allows the connectivity to go through. However, if it does not match, it drops the packet. And as you can see like on this dot information here, um, knowing fully well that the destination address is 172.16.3.4, Three, four. It has a destination address in the reverse order here, and that is why the, the packet is being dropped because there is no match. So, just as a summary, this is a comparison of the different types of firewall: uh, the packet filtering, the application level, circuit level, and the stateful in inspection. I will allow you to go through to read for yourself to see what are the differences. You can actually pause the video to take a look, and um, in all. Um, generally speaking, stateful inspection is termed as one of the most secure. Even though today in the telecoms industry, we have different types of firewall like the GI firewall, GP firewall, in case of a different PLMN, you have a um, charging firewall, the o &M firewall. So it depends on how the organization has designed its network to be. You can actually use one firewall for everything, but for most operators in the telecom industry, they wouldn't try that because uh, most uh, traffics are being classified and thereby they will need a different kind of firewalls. So um, thank you for watching and I hope that uh, this video has been informative. Kindly subscribe for your subsequent Take videos. Thank you.